The year was 1962. In Seattle, a tower called the Space Needle was completed for the World's Fair. Spider-Man made his first appearance in a comic book. And in Vancouver, Washington, Columbia River High School opened its doors to more than 800 students. Fast forward to 2016, where River is still the heart of the neighborhood. Hi, I'm Alex Hewitt. And I'm Sam Walker. And we want to tell you all about the great things about Columbia River. And some of the parts that could use some work. Columbia River is home to an international baccalaureate program, an academically rigorous course of study for students who are serious about succeeding in college. In the 2014 to 2015 school year, River hit a 92% graduation rate. It's been consistently rated as one of the best high schools in the state and country. River also has a historically strong athletics program with a number of state championships. But for all the great things happening inside the school, the building itself needs an update. The student population is much larger than when River opened, and although it has had some partial remodeling over the years, parts of the building remain untouched from the original construction. For example, the 500 wing of the school, which is more than 50 years old, is unconnected to the main campus. Students have to walk through a parking lot to get there, and once they arrive, there isn't enough space. The 500 wing also doesn't have any bathrooms. In addition, the stadium at River sees far fewer fans than actually attend games, has too few restrooms, and is outdated. To plan for the future of the River campus, teachers, students, administrators, and community members met for a planning symposium. They shared their ideas for what they'd like to see happen at their school, and working with architects, came up with three concepts. Their ideas included an expanded and improved stadium with fitness and health facilities for students, improved flow and security between wings of the school, art performance and creation spaces, engagement with the natural beauty that surrounds the school, and more. None of these are final concepts, but the best ideas may become a part of the plan moving forward. The school board is considering a bond measure that would pay to remodel River, along with replacements and repairs at every other school in the district. That measure may come before voters in February. Above all, all the ideas put forth in the symposium embrace the idea that the school has a strong community. No matter what shape it takes in the future, Columbia River High School will still empower students' dreams and serve as a center of our neighborhood.